They say it takes about a week for a common cold to settle with treatment and seven days without. So if you have to endure it anyways, you might as well make it a little more bearable. So why does a common cold occur? The reasons are several. It could be because of change in weather, an allergy or a viral infection. However, the symptoms like when you have fever, sneezing or any other general illness could be quite discomforting. So here are a few remedies to make it a little bearable. Take a piece of fresh ginger and chop it quite finely like this. Take a bowl, add this chopped ginger to it, add roughly two cups of water and now you have to boil this and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. After it's boiled, transfer it to a bowl but remember you have to strain this. Once you're done straining this, add a little bit of sugar, maybe just a teaspoon and a teaspoon of honey. Mix this well and you have to have this hot two to three times daily. Take few pieces of fresh ginger and grate it to get about eight tablespoons of ginger like this. And now add this to a jar. Now add about quarter teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Take about 4 cups of water and let it boil. So once it's done boiling, pour this into the jar. Mix this well and remember to close the lid so that the steam doesn't evaporate. And now leave this for about half an hour. Once you've left it for half an hour, strain this into another bowl. And now take 1 cup of this liquid add one teaspoon of lime juice one teaspoon of honey mix this well let it boil for about 10 minutes let it boil for a while and once it's done drink it hot two to three times a day and remember to refrigerate the balanced ginger liquid and you can have it hot again two to three times a day so try these common remedies for the common cold till the infection clears Sneezing, coughing, swollen face and headaches are all signs of sinusitis or inflammation of the sinus passages. If the sinus passages are inflamed, mucus starts to accumulate and thus leading to the growth of bacteria. If the ability of the sinus passages to drain mucus is impaired, even this leads to sinusitis. Raw onions and garlics are very effective for sinusitis, so make sure to add them to your diet. Coarsely grind a teaspoon of roasted cumin seeds and you will get this powder. Add about one teaspoon of this powder and a tablespoon of honey. Mix this really well and have it daily. Boil one liter of water. and add few drops of eucalyptus oil to it and now take a clean towel place it over your head and inhale the steam add a cup of water to a pan and then add a teaspoon of peeled and freshly grated ginger let this boil and once it's boiled strain this liquid And now add a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder or haldi, half a teaspoon of lime juice, one teaspoon of honey, a pinch of black pepper powder. Mix this well. Have this herbal tea once a day but under medical guidance if you are on blood thinners. Hydrate yourself very well with fluids like water, hot tea, clear soups and freshly squeezed orange juice without sugar. Avoid coffee until the infection clears. Take care of yourself, take a lot of rest and stay healthy. A 
A wet cough is the body's way of clearing any expectorate that is present in the throat or airways, which could be a result of a common cold or change in weather. However, if the cough persists, make sure you visit your doctor to rule out some serious conditions like TB or a lung and chest infection. On the onset of a wet cough, try these simple home remedies. Take a cup of water, add about 6 to 8 peppercorns to it, add about quarter teaspoon of cumin powder and add about 1 teaspoon of crushed jaggery. Mix them well and now you will have to boil this mixture until it becomes solid decoction. Let it cool and drink this to expel the phlegm that is blocking your airways. Take a piece of fresh ginger, grate it and extract a juice from it like this and take about 2 teaspoons of ginger juice and also add about 2.5 teaspoons of honey. Mix this well and now you need to warm this slightly. Let it warm for less than a minute and then you can have it about 3 to 4 times a day for your wet cough. Take a medium sized onion, preferably a white onion, grate it and extract juice out of it like this. Now you will have to add 1 tablespoon of honey. Leave it for about 6 hours, then you can have it 2 to 3 times daily to better your wet cough. If the cough persists, have a glass of warm milk along with a pinch of turmeric powder or haldi. Mix this and have it every night before bedtime to soothe your throat. Ensure you drink at least 2 litres of water a day and stay well hydrated and follow these simple steps to get rid of your cough and stay healthy. A dry cough or a non-productive cough is usually the result of a viral infection. Triggers that bring on a dry cough are pollution, irritants and allergens in the environment and even a sinus infection. The back of the throat gets inflamed or irritated leading to dryness and coughing. There is no mucus or phlegm in a dry cough making the throat itchy and leading to a persistent cough. This makes the body totally fatigued and compromises the immune system. Honey is a natural home remedy for dry cough as it soothes the irritated tissue lining at the back of your throat. Depending on the severity of the cough, take a tablespoon of honey one to three times a day. Take a glass of warm water and add the juice of a freshly squeezed lime to it. And now add 1 or 2 teaspoons of honey. Mix this well and have this concoction a couple of times a day till the cough disappears. Soak around 7 almonds in warm water overnight. In the morning, peel the skin off and make a paste out of it. And now to this paste, add 2 tablespoons of butter and also add 2 tablespoons of sugar. Mix this well and form a paste. You can have this paste twice a day until you get relief. In a glass of slightly warm water, add a teaspoon of turmeric or haldi powder and add a teaspoon of carom or ajwain powder. Mix this really well and have it couple of times a day until the cough persists. Eat healthy, drink healthy and lead a happy life. The influenza virus when it infects the respiratory system causes the flu. Symptoms are those generally associated with the common cold like cough, fever, watery eyes and running nose. So how do you contract the influenza virus? Well, this mainly happens when you are around the infected person or if he or she sneezes or coughs. You can also contract this virus if you use the handkerchief of the person with influenza. Grate a medium sized onion and extract juice from it and to this juice you can add about 1 tablespoon of honey. Stir this until it blends really well and you can have this 2-3 to three times a day. Take a 
piece of fresh ginger, wash it well and grate it. And now take a cup of water. Add about 2 teaspoons of fenugreek powder or methi. And now add the ginger to it. And now add this to a pan and let it simmer for about 7 to 10 minutes. Once it's done, you can strain this into a bowl. And now to this you can add 2 teaspoons of lemon juice and 1 teaspoon of honey. Mix it well and you can have it couple of times a day. Take a glass of warm water and add a dash of lemon juice to it. Gargle with it several times a day. Crush a clove of garlic and add some honey to it and you can have this 3 to 4 times a day. Alternatively, you can take a clove of garlic Crush it fine and swallow it with some water. A flu infection can leave you dehydrated and weak, so consume a lot of liquids, preferably warm. Understand what your body wants and take enough rest. Take care of yourself and stay healthy. If you like this video, remember to like it and leave a comment letting me know what you think and make sure to watch our other home remedies.